Welcome back to Changemakers. My name is Leanna Martins, your host, and today we get to speak with somebody that I think is amazing. Her name is Dr. Lucille Mandon, and what she has created is an NGO called Hand in Hand with Women in Africa. You were a professor at the U of A, mm -hmm. and you were tasked with taking students to Africa, right? You guys went to Tanzania, Kenya, and Togo. Togo. Mm -hmm. and it was humanitarian and then it was also educational and you went from 2009 to 2016? Yes, Leanna. Leanna I was forever changed. Um, when, you, when you experience, you know, three weeks every year in different communities and it's always the same, uh, you, are, you are changed. What was the same? Well, you're, you're in communities uh, where there's poverty because this is where our program took us mostly. So we, we are experiencing poverty, but we're also experiencing African culture. You know, it, it, it wasn't a question that I would just abandon these women. Mm. Uh, the relationship continued, we uh, talked, we wrote letters. What did it feel like going from poverty for three weeks and the African culture yeah. simultaneously back to all the affluence that we have here? Yeah, it was uncomfortable. How did you feel? Uncomfortable how? Well, you know, it, it, that's what really lit, lit me up. And I thought, you know, we live in a world of abundance and um, we just need to distribute it differently. By the grace of God, Elena, we are born here. 100%. And we're all the same. We are women. We all want our children educated. Uh, we, we have uh, joys. We have challenges. What I saw in them was a joy I could not exp exp explain. Really? Why were they joyous? You know, making 19 US dollars a month in the Maasai Mara. And uh, so I, I asked them, what is this smile about? And they said, well, you know, we have community and we have hope. There's three, from what I read, there's three projects that you guys have started. So you started in 2020, right? So this is mm -hmm. two years, mm -hmm. right? Lucille, that's not a long time. That's pretty impressive. So in three years, I think the first project was the hatchery, poultry farm. Yes. Which supports at-risk adolescents. Then the next one is the farmland cultivating veggies and fruit, uh, which supports 115 orphans. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And then this last water project, which is the one that you were just speaking to. So that's this right. is what you're currently fundraising that's for. Right. And this was the Walk for Water, which I believe was over as of yesterday. That's right. 14th to the 21st. That's right. And so what was the result for your Walk for Water? Amazing, amazing response uh, all over the world. What was your biggest hurdle in 2020, starting the NGO? What was the biggest obstacle that you had that had you believe, well, that maybe had you question, can you do this? I think it's always about, um, uh, maybe I, I, I could call it my relationship with money. Mm. You know, how, how will I ever fundraise oh. money uh, at that level? How am I ever yes. going to be able to do you this? You know, because you have your old beliefs and, uh, you know, people are going to say, oh no, here she comes again, she's going to be asking for money, um, you know, Africa, no, this doesn't and what work. Have you you know, I have read The Soul of Money <laughs> huh. by Lynn Twist, who is a fundraiser, and she shifted me, and my, what my shifted? mindset. What shifted? Well, I think it's to really understand that we are in a world of abundance. Oh. And instead of asking for charity, I talk about investing in a better world. That's beautiful. And that is a coaching from another... Um, uh, give you um, member, a member, Fatia. She's a lovely coach, and she really has helped me step up to the plate and say, "Investing in a better world." But that sounds like me to me that I am taking responsibility for a piece of the world. Yes. If I'm investing in it, that means I'm taking ownership of it. But you are, right? You know? I think that's super key. When did you want to give up? At what point in this journey? Liana, this is not an option. Oh. This is not an option, no. Why? No, I committed. Um, I think I have something to bring. 
it is. to humanity and uh, it is not an option. So what have you learned about time in, effort and persistence? Time in, you mean the time invested? Mm -hmm. Through time, through time action. Oh yes. You know, I've learned and this has been one of my beliefs, I think even as a prof, I, you know, you, you, you take steps mm. and you, you get into action, you create research projects, you, it's a step at a time. And today, you know, I look back and I think, wow, you know, long, long time ago, I started realizing that that was my purpose. Mm. Like my purpose with my students was to support them to find their voice mm -hmm. before they became teachers. Mm -hmm. Who are you? What is your stand? What does educating mean? It wasn't just about learning languages. Mm. So that voice, this is what I'm doing with the African woman. Mm -hmm. And this is what I'm discovering in myself because I am finding my voice as a fundraiser. Oh, which is what you're talking about. This is your own process yeah, of evolution. Absolutely. To be able to ask for money, yeah. to step into that role, to step past your fear. Yes. Right? It's yes. causing your growth. Yes. Juicy. Juicy. I love it. So there's no option Good then. Good girl. Training that voice to to take a stand. It's it's not about me. Yeah. So I have to get past that that old fear or old beliefs. This is what change makers do, and this mm -hmm. is what I think is the most fascinating thing mm -hmm. in the world. First, you see a problem and you take action mm -hmm. to solve the problem, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And in order to solve the problem, every single one of us has to continue to grow. In order for you mm -hmm. to have the outcome and the impact that you want, it requires you to step into more of who you are. Mm -hmm. It's requiring you to grow. It's requiring you to do more introspection. It's requiring you to push yourself out of your comfort zone for a greater cause and a greater good. Absolutely. Oh That's my exact. gosh. That's it. Right. Like you it's took like the this. words right out of my mouth. It's like this. It is. It's the fulfillment it and evolution of all yeah. of what you were meant to be, do, have, and contribute. Oh, and you're always in it. So <sighs> what would you say to other change makers that have that? Think back to like when you were doing your GPU um, constellation, for example, right? Before this was born, if that's where it was, right? And there was that party that was like, eee! Oh yes. Right, remember that? Oh yes. All that stuff. Mm -hmm. There's women and that are watching right now that are feeling like that. They're like, God, I want to do the thing, but mm -hmm. what would you say to them? Mm -hmm. You know, there's, um, there's that hesitation. Mm -hmm. uh, I call it tentativeness. I want to tell women or change makers, you don't need to know it all. Start with your passion. Start with your, your determination. Yeah. And this is where I, I am stepping from. Uh, somebody said a beautiful thing about me, a determination and a quiet strength. Ooh, you do have that. Isn't that, that a nice you thing very to much be told? Do. It's just being open to possibility. Um, and one step in front of the other. One step. Even when you can't see what's in front of you. Exactly. Mm -mm. Thank mm -hmm. you for those words of wisdom, mm -hmm. Dr. Lucia. This was my, my awakening. You know, I, I had that to was really what you work. Said. That was the abundance yeah. when you see survival there every day. Yeah, yeah. And would, I am still getting my nails done. I'm still going out for dinner. I'm still getting my daughter, whatever, the thing that she wants. And I'm saying no to the charity. Right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I you know, it. this is what, this is my ask. So your ask is to have an open heart and um, I'd say just a gratitude for what we currently have and realizing that we have more than enough and let's give some of our abundance to others. Yes. For this water project and solar panel. So this water project is gonna impact 3,000 people. So we're gonna have a direct ask. I'm gonna give you your voice one more time to make a direct ask. Yes. What's the ask? The ask is if you, uh, your heart uh, so desires, you can donate to uh, Hand in Hand with African Women on our website, okay. www.handinhandoneword.space. Thank Absolutely. you for coming so much, Lucille. You're a pleasure mm. and a delight. And all you change makers, let's donate some money and uh, make a positive impact. Um, I will see you next time for our next episode.